You guys might have gotten mad at me for yesterday's video where I just talked about signing a document and how I made my biggest decision yet to date. So I'm going to share that with you guys right now. If you've been watching my channel over the last five years, there's something that you've heard me say over and over and over again. I know it's been a long time. For those of you who follow the channel, again, know that my gym powerhouse no longer allows me to bring the camera in there. What's going on YouTube? It's Maddie with Pizarro Fitness. On our way to the gym, signed up at a new gym actually, so you'll be seeing that. And this is why I keep saying, I'm just gonna keep saving and busting my ass so I can own my own gym one day where people are free to drop weights, make noise, push themselves past their comfort zone, film themselves, whatever the case is. I'm sure you guys know this channel means a lot to me. Obviously, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make this work. I've switched gyms just for the YouTube channel and I'll continue to do so until I get something that, that works. Do you ever plan on opening your own gym? That is a goal, I would love to to do that I'm not sure when but here in New York everything is crazy expensive especially rent so if I ever did open a gym it'd probably be years down the road unless I end up moving somewhere where it's a lot cheaper but it's very expensive for real estate here in New York so I've been trying to look for a gym that will allow me to film it, it doesn't look that likely but it's just another option until we work that out it's gonna make it happen right if you've been around for the last five years, I've been through five different gyms already because I've been kicked out of five different gyms for trying to film. So that goes to show you that over the years, YouTube is more important than the gym that I'm at because I keep getting kicked out of gyms and I keep going to a new gym just so I can keep creating videos for you guys to watch. So YouTube means everything to me. It's the reason why I'm doing what I do today. It's what got me from where I was to where I am. Well, now it's March 31st, 2017 and dreams do come true if you work hard enough. So I want to invite you guys and thank you so much for all your support over the years to say that I've finally made my biggest business decision yet to date. So I'm going to welcome you to my gym, Long Island Barbell Club. We still need to put a sign up there. But let me go show you around inside, introduce you to my business partner, and we'll talk about some plans for the future. All right, so we are inside of the gym. This is Long Island Barbell Club, and I want to introduce you to my business partner and someone who I've known for a long time. This is Rob. So I'm going to give him a minute to introduce himself and how we met was years ago at Powerhouse Gym. I think you got kicked out of that too, didn't you? Sure did. So that's kind of common between us two. <laughs> but sure did. we got to talking, and I don't know if you guys recall this, but I recorded a short clip in this gym a little over a year ago when it was just construction. What's up, guys? Welcome to Friday, January 22nd. I am actually about to head to, I'm going there, right over there, to, uh, to have a little business meeting. What's going on, my man? Yeah, definitely, man. I don't blame you. So what's happening, man? Not too much. Now you see that it's done. There was a lot that went into it. So again, I want Rob to just introduce himself, a little bit about his background, and we're going to talk about some of our plans moving forward. So, How are you? I'm Rob. Uh, this is the place. We spent a lot of time trying to get in here, uh, put it together. It's a place for lifters to come and lift. That's the deal. Uh, my background's in strongman. Did a lot of powerlifting. We do some CrossFit stuff. Um, we do it all. I train bodybuilders, everything. So, we're going to try to hit all those segments. It's going to be a good partnership for sure. We've already brainstormed ideas. I mean, we've been going nonstop back and forth with ideas for different meetups, ways to engage with the community. This gym is built for lifters. Um, I was a lifter myself, like I said, I got kicked out of every gym on Long Island uh, for lifting. You know, we use chalk, we curse, we listen to loud music, it's just how it is. Um, it's how I like to train, I think that's how you get the best results, it's uh, how you get the best performance, for sure. So uh, yeah, we encourage PRs, personal records, when you have that, you put it up on the wall. So it's a community that's built on that, based on results, based on science, and, you know, that's where we're from. You're getting a total package in this gym. And we're just excited for it. There's a button that I'm looking at right there. Yeah. So if you do hit a PR, you get to do this. That's awesome. <laughs> so, so we do plan on hitting a lot of PRs in this gym. And we will be also talking about the whole thing with memberships and day passes and all that as time comes. Like I said, the gym, the space itself, we are looking at ways to add pieces of equipment to it. And I'm just going to take you guys along with that as we build on top of things. And then as business plans keep moving forward in the future, we'll talk about what's to come pretty much. So, All right, so we're going to do a quick tour around the gym starting in this corner right here. The rope section over here, plenty of mobility bands and everything over there. This, everything pretty much is rogue in here as well. So you have this entire rig. So like he was saying, they do also run CrossFit out of here. So anyone who's interested in that, there's a spot for you to do it. There are three deadlift platforms over there, three flat rope benches over there, as many bumper plates as you need, 
all organized, 45, 35, 25, tens, kettlebells, and some dumbbells over there. A bathroom in the corner. Rings. I'm gonna start messing with these. Can you, you even guys, do the rings? Can I? I don't know. Well, I took <laughs> gymnastics actually. Did you know that, Rob? <laughs> What's that? I had to take gymnastics in Cortland as a uh, really? phys ed major, yeah. Plenty of bars, plenty of medicine balls, and chalk buckets. So yes, you are allowed to use chalk in here. It's encouraged. It's encouraged. Heat and AC. Always nice. And then this I'll probably never touch. Maybe that one. You think someday? <laughs> yeah, you can do it tonight. <laughs> This, these are, so these are Atlas stones. As we said, he was a strong man and did very well on it. So that's like a 300 and 330, 330 pound Atlas stones. We have another deadlift platform here, there. This is a yoke. Okay. How heavy is that? That's nothing, but you add weight to it. It's okay. like 180, but it gets heavy fast. Yeah. yeah. And in this corner, so to give you guys a general idea, this wall, what uh, me and Rob were talking about was, I'm already looking for a, I guess you can call it like a functional trainer or multi-gym. So something that has chest fly, lat pull down, cable rope. So something like that over here, mirroring the wall. And then we're going to talk about other equipment we might want to add, a dumbbell setup, maybe a few different pieces of hammer strength equipment to give some more accessory work. So make the gym appealing to everyone. So we got the crossfit, we got the powerlifting, we got the strongman, we want the bodybuilding and the physique type, physique type stuff. So we're trying to get as much as we can in here. This is some specialty stuff over here. So. This was custom made for you to do farmer's walks, log press. So I think, I think there's a bit of everything. So we will be talking about, like I said, over the coming weeks, we're going to talk about setting up gym memberships, day passes, meetups, all that good stuff. But for now, one more cool thing about the space that I forgot to tell you. Let's go show you. Thank you, sir. Sure, of course. So that space you just saw is actually, right now there's a college team practicing lacrosse in there, but Rob was just telling me that sometimes they'll actually rent it out and do these like big classes and stuff. So as long as you just give them notice, right though? That's right. Yeah, so give them notice ahead of time, book it, and that's a cool place where we can do meetups and stuff like that. So lots to come. The options are endless and it's pouring right now. So now it's official. Key to the gym, I want to thank you so much. My pleasure. I guarantee you guys are going to see some big things happen showing up this year and then the following needs to come, so. We did it, fam. I wanna wrap this video up and not get motivational on you or emotional, although I'm still kind of in shock. It's hard to believe that this is real life and all the years of hard work that you put in actually do come true, but I just really wanna say thank you guys, every single one of you who have supported me, whether it's been since day one, since the last two years, last year, last month, or you're completely new to the channel. Every single person that's given me their time and attention has allowed me to evolve and get to where I am today. So thank you guys so much for that. There have been plenty of people who on YouTube and even some of you guys watching this right now who have inspired me and who have motivated me to get to where I am and to realize that you just should never settle. There's always something you could be doing and I've been, I've been complacent, right? I'm still working my ass off. I'm still working with my clients and working hard, but there had to be a time where I needed to level up and this is the next big step that I'm taking. I'm excited to take you guys on a journey with me. So that's it. Again, not gonna get too, uh, I don't know, it's, it's crazy. I'm still in shock, so I'm sure <laughs> I'll be talking more about this in future videos. I'm going to show you guys the whole process of building up the gym and getting equipment and everything, but to end the video, thank you guys so much. And to anyone watching this who doesn't think that their dreams can become a reality, just fucking work. Work as hard as you can for something that you want. If you want something that bad, then you have to be willing to put in the time and hours and be patient. It might take a year, it might take five years, right, so shit, it might take 10 years. But if you want it bad enough, you'll make it happen. So thanks again for the support, guys, and we'll catch you all in the next video.